Hi, I'm Dr. James Kung, and I'm going to show you the future of how we're going to log in to the new clinical information system, featuring single sign-on and tap and go. With single sign-on, one password will automatically log into all your Cerner applications related to the new clinical information system in seconds, all without the hassle of remembering multiple usernames and passwords for different applications and your Cerner applications will roam with you. You can log on to different computers or workstations during your shift and your Cerner applications will follow you from device to device. You can log in quickly with your photo ID badge using tap and go if it's available at your location. You'll be able to access the new system from any workstation on wheels, all using one password. And one more thing, all of the workstation on wheels are shared machines and they'll be easy to spot you'll see this multi-user icon. There'll be multiple shared machines throughout your site for easy access. Dedicated personal computers will still be available with full access to other applications like your Outlook email. Your computer will include this single user icon. These personal computers are not typically paired with a tap and go reader. There'll also be dedicated computers for the 724 Access Downtime Viewer. These computers can access and view patient records during a planned or unplanned downtime. This can be found on dedicated computers and some single user machines. So watch for these icons. And now my colleague Karen Mayo is gonna show you how this is all going to work. It's the start of my shift, so I'm going to tap in for my username and it'll prompt me to use my password in order to log in. Now that I'm logged in, I can use my ID badge to tap in and out without re-entering my password for up to 12 hours. At the top of my screen, I can see Launchpad. It shows all the applications that I've been signed up for on my account. I'm automatically logged into all of these applications without using a password. So some of the applications that you might see are PowerChart and FirstNet. You'll also see some non-Cerner applications and you'll have access to your home drive. You will need to access your email through webmail on the internet browser. If you take a look at the top corner of the screen, you can see who's logged in. Karen Mayo. You'll also see two icons. Clicking on the blue icon locks your workstation, while clicking on the red one logs you off. Locking your workstation keeps your Cerner applications and local applications like Word and Excel running in the background. Logging off closes all your applications, just like logging off of a computer. You can easily lock your workstation by tapping. And then when you lock it, the next person who comes along can see who's been last using the workstation. Let's say my colleague, Dr. Joseph Lister, comes up to the workstation and it's been locked by myself. Dr. Lister can tap in and log in and he will see a pop-up asking if he wants to log me off. He can leave me signed in and go find another workstation or if he logs me off, all my Cerner applications will be parked and will reopen when I tap back in. Let's say I get an urgent call and I need to walk away from my workstation and head down to the emergency department. All I need to do is tap out. And when I tap back into the new workstation, the Cerner applications I was just working on have roamed with me so I can continue exactly where I left off. I hope you're as excited as we are about single sign-on and tap and go. Once you get the hang of it, it's fast and will save you valuable time. Want to learn more about single sign-on and tap and go? Click on the link.